a journey to the abode of the dead. In the dawn of the 15th of April 2018, I began to worship the Lord at 10 o'clock. It was at 12 o'clock in the morning that I began to observe that the Lord was showing me new things. When the Lord manifested I asked the Lord for mercy and I said, Lord. I know that something is missing in this series of revelation and vision that you began with me, on that day I thought that the Lord was going to continue showing me more things of the kingdom of heaven like in the last two previous visitation, however in this instance things turned out to be different, on that the day when the Lord began to deal with me. He pulled my spirit out of my body, but this time around he took me to the place of torments the abode of the dead, when I went out of my body. We started to descend through an horrible and dark tunnel, that produced extreme fear in my whole being that I have never felt before, we were descending very slowly through that huge tunnel that led us to the ground, when we landed I said to the Lord, please I do not want to be here and to go round to this place, the Lord said, I know you don't, actually the place was ugly and terrifying, I said Lord it's horrible, the Lord said, it is necessary that you see and experience what is happening here, so that you go and tell humanity that this place is real, because many on the surface are refusing to accept that this place is real, when we were going down in this circular tunnel there was a path towards the front on that road, I could observe that at the end of that road there was an horrendous gate, that was really black, and I noticed that they were figures stationed at this ancient gate that had riddles and symbols on it and there were these demonic creatures stationed at the gate that were guarding the place. The letters on this gate said, Welcome to eternal hell. When we arrived before the gate with a gesture of his hand the Lord opened the gate, when we entered through this gate I could observe an open land that had many people, in this place they were millions and millions of people clamoring, and as we were moving I heard a man in this place saying to the Lord, I cannot stand it anymore. Another said to the Lord, I cannot endure these worms anymore. When these multitude of lost souls saw the Lord they started yelling at the Lord to get them out of this place of torment, I began to notice that some of these lost souls were rolled by huge and thick snake, I noticed that this very thick snakes that were torturing the lost had needles on their skin, and as these lost soul were crying to the Lord Jesus to deliver them from these demonic snakes, I noticed that the more people cried to Jesus Christ for deliverance the more intense their torture got. As they were crying for deliverance these snakes started to grab and squeeze them, in this section of hell I could observe a very large flame that was red, then I observed carnivorous worms that were all over the people, and they were penetrating in their body and eating them, while I was watching this horror, the Lord Jesus say to me, this section of hell is called free section, because the souls that you see here are brought from other sections of hell in order to be tormented. They come from different cells and part of hell and they are gathered here, when I looked on the background I saw people running from one place to another, that's why it's called free section because there was no cells like other section that were effectively prison, I noticed that this was a broad space, no prison cell around here, people were not imprisoned, they could move from one place to another and go anywhere, and they could run through that place but they not could leave, at that moment I heard a voice addressing me, I did not know who was talking to me, the voice said, damn you, I have finally got you in this place here, I wanted to capture you when you entered, I curse you, I wanted to know the entity that was threatening me, really I wanted to leave this place, I held the hand of the Lord Jesus Christ firmly, but as soon as this entity finished cursing me, I noticed that the Lord Jesus Christ who was by my side had disappeared, the moment the Lord Jesus disappeared. I began to observe that the snakes that were tormenting the lost souls had turned their attention and focus to me, they were looking at me, they noticed that I was without protection and I was alone in that place, in the meantime I was looking for the Lord and I was wondering where is the Lord, he has left me just like that, and while I was looking for the Lord these snakes started to head towards me with speed, in the twinkling of an eye a snake rolled me, I noticed that the snake had needles on its body. After rolling around my body and the snake started to squeeze me very strongly, as a result I began to scream in pain, while I was tortured by the snake I saw carnivorous bug and worms that were glowing, they invaded me and they covered me, these worms started to walk through my whole body, these worms began to penetrate my skin and flesh, they were entering and coming out of my body, moreover, 
I noticed that the flame of hell was the only light in this place of thick darkness, this flame that was alive began to invade me, I started to burn, I began to feel the unbearable heat of this place, I was screaming and telling the Lord, Sir, why have you left me in this place? At that moment while I was crying to the Lord, a demon shot a kind of spear right in my forehead, the spear has penetrated my head right in the middle of the forehead, when the demon shot that spear on my forehead, I noticed that this spear that was like a trident that had taunts, at that moment I felt an extreme pain, in the meantime I was burning and carnivorous worms and bug were eating my flesh, while I was tortured I was surrounded by the whining of people, I began to feel the pain of torture and torment that was happening to the lost soul that was in the abode of the dead, I was feeling their torment, it was a feeling extreme pain, then I heard the devil saying we finally have you in this damn place here, we always wanted to capture you, you will worship me because this is your kingdom, when I heard these words I began to cry, I said Lord why have you left me in this place, where did you go? Suddenly I started to see the Lord Jesus Christ in space, he was suspended in the air and he was resplendent, all the attention was on him because of his light, in fact apart from the light of flame there was no light here. There was a thick darkness that you cannot see on the earth, the place was half darkness and half flame of fire, there was an extreme darkness and extreme fire here, when Jesus showed up in space. He illuminated the place and captured the attention, then the Lord spoke in a voice of power and authority, he said stop, when the Lord said stop that place began to shake, there was an earthquake of about six degree that hit the whole place here, the abode of the dead was trembling, when I checked the snake that was rolling around my body I noticed that he was gone, including the worms and the flame, and since the demons and his spear were gone, there was no demon there because the place were trembling and the Lord landed where I was and he grabbed me with his right hand, as a result the spear that was on my head disappeared, the flame and the worms that cover me also disappeared, I felt relief and I said to the Lord, Sir, I have undergone extreme torrent because you have left in this place, the Lord said to me, I have not left you, I have been here with you, but it was necessary that you feel the pain that these people feel in this place so that you can go back to the earth and get the people to understand that this place is real and it exists, the Lord said come, I have to show you another place, a section of hell called the section of sorcerers and satanist, the Lord took me down a little path, we started to enter a place that was full of darkness, I could not see anything except what was illuminated by the Lord, as we were moving I began to hear rumbling as if there were monsters around, I observed on the left side and I noticed that there were cells, and on the right side there were also cells, we walked down the road around the cells that had thick bars, I noticed that in each of these cells there was demons and there was a person who was tormented by these demons there, I understood that the rumblings I was hearing were the noises of demon, every captive had horrible demons in his cell for torture and there were screams of pain, in each cell there were very loud screaming and it was hard. While we were walking down around these cells there was a woman who stepped in front of her cell and grabbed the bars, she said to me, please, go to the earth and tell everybody on the earth what the Lord is showing you here, tell the people on the earth this place exists and it's real, the Lord asked the lady, what is your name? She replied my name is Bertrand, she said, I was a witch on earth, I did a lot of damage to the church. I hurt many churches because Satan promised me part of his kingdom, this is where I ended up, when I was observing this woman I noticed that her left eye was completely disfigured and worms were eating it as if it was their food, then demons came and took her deep inside her cell, they started torturing her and she was screaming, at that moment the Lord said to me we have to go, he said I'm going to show you another place, I'll show you someone who was famous on earth. Later we stood in front of a cell there were thick bars there, in the background was a man on a wheelchair, he was like with crouched head, he could not move and he could not speak, the Lord told me this man denied my existence on the earth, while he was alive, he made a pact with the devil and he came up with the big band theory, now look his fate, this man is called Stephen Hawking, the Lord said, on earth they said Stephen Hawking was the most intelligent man in the world. He was regarded as the most intelligent scientist of the world, but look at where he was finished his life, 
I began to look and I noticed that he was disfigured and he was full of worms that were eating him, and he was in tears, but he could not move or talk, when he saw Jesus Christ in front of him he began to try to move, as if he wanted to stand, he wanted to come to the Lord and speak to him, but he could not speak, Jesus Christ said to me, he is asking me mercy, but here there is no mercy and no grace after death, Jesus said, worms is his bed and worm will cover him, the Lord said, Sir let's get out of here, I'm going to show you something else, the Lord led me to another place where I observed that there was a throne before a platform, the throne was very black and ugly, in front of that throne there was a platform, and on the edge of the platform there were many demons, I saw that the throne was vacant, immediately I started to observe in space a very elegant and beautiful entity, that was landing where the dark throne was when the beautiful entity of light was landing I saw that he was turning into a gruesome, dark and grotesque entity that was no longer beautiful, he became different, when he went down around the throne, I could not look at the face of this gruesome and terrifying character anymore, actually the character was Satan, he was so dark that I could not see him because he was as darkness itself, the darkness here became the curtain that was stopping me from seeing him, moment later, I began to see that one of the demons that were at the edge of the platform brought another demon before the throne of Satan, they threw this demon before Satan on the platform, Satan asked demons that were his staff and protocols, what happened? They said to him he has failed in his mission, while these demons that were the staff of Satan were speaking, they projected images on a huge screen, and on this screen I was watching a church on earth that was medium size, and it was like in a downtown of a city, in that church there were three leaders on their knees in front of the pulpit of the church, I saw that two of these leaders were male and one was a female and had a scarf on her head, then the demon that was in front of Satan on the platform said, I was assigned to destroy those three leaders, I sent seduction to them but they did not succumb, I sent smear and backstabbing against them but they turned a deaf ear, he said to Satan the more I fought them the more their spirit fought back against me, and I had to run away from them, when Satan heard his report he told the other demons that were his staff, you must tie him and imprison him and torture him until I give you the order to set him free, I observe how these demons grabbed this spirit that was before the throne and they started to take him to a cell in order to torture him because he has failed to bring down these pastors, in that moment I began to observe another demon that stepped towards the platform of the throne of Satan, when he showed up in front of the black throne of Satan. He prostrated before him with reverence and said, Father, I have fulfilled the mission that you sent me to do on the earth. Suddenly another screen appeared in front of the throne of Satan, a church on the earth was projected on the screen, I observe a shepherd in that church. I noticed that this pastor had developed pride in his heart, he was boasting about everything that he had achieved, I observed that the pastor started to take pride from his achievement, then I saw a scene where this pastor started to fall in love with one of the young lady of the church, immediately the demon said to Satan, Father, I went to earth with the mission you gave me, I have managed to destroy that pastor. I succeeded in putting a lying spirit in his mouth so that he speak lies, I cause him to boast and be proud of everything that he had, the demon said to Satan, Father, I had managed to manipulate this pastor in fornication and adultery, when he finished speaking, the devil said to him, you did well, good servant, then the devil said to demon that were his protocol, take him to the hall of prizes and gifts so that he can receive his awards, Jesus said to me, go to earth and tell them everything that you have seen and heard on this place, if you do not say everything you have seen you will be in danger, I will demand people blood if you shut up, go to the earth tell them everything I have shown you and tell them about this being that you are observing because he has hatred towards humanity, months later, on the 21st October of the same year 2017, after leaving the congregation of the church, I got to my house and I started reading the Bible and scrutinized the scripture, then I prostrated myself in front of the presence of the Lord and cried for mercy, I never thought that the Lord was going to show me another experience in that place of torment that was horrendous and horrible, it's so bad that I did not want to go back to attend that place, when the vision began I saw a silhouette of a resplendent being that began to descend towards where I was, 
The Lord was accompanied by thousands and millions of angels, I looked and felt a great divine presence of the Spirit of God in my room. The angels that came with the Lord of Light were suspended in the air, I looked at them as they were worshipping the Lord and singing glory to God and blessing the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, they were singing Blessed be the Lord Jesus glory be to him, honour be to him, praise be to him, forever and ever, Amen. Afterward the Lord began to descend, he was the only one who descending towards me, I saw that the angels stayed in the air, when he came to me the Lord said, it's necessary that I take you again to that place of torment so that you see and tell the people on the earth what I'm going to show you, the Lord said, I was shocked to see the Lord coming to me in a human appearance not that of a spirit, I could see that the Lord was a very resplendent, he had a white and shining vestment, I observed that he had a belt crossing his shoulder going down upon which it is written King of Kings and Lord of Lords, I could see that he had another belt on his waist and his vestment that was pure white, when I tried to look at his face I could not see his face because his face was like the sun, it very resplendent, I had the impression of watching the sun when it shine in its strength, beloved, when I saw the glory of his face I fell to the ground, the Lord was tremendous, when I fell on the ground the Lord rose me up and said to me, Sir, I'm going to show you new things and you will tell the nations everything I will show you, when we started to descend again through that dark black tunnel. I could see nothing because of the darkness, brothers, as we descended at a great speed in that tunnel of darkness, I felt evil presence of dark creatures in the tunnel, I could sense a great malice, something so ugly and sinister, so awful that I will not be able to describe it, but with the help of the Lord in this hour I will try to describe with details without forgetting all the things that I saw in that place. When we begin to descend in great speed I felt like a shadow passing us by that place, I don't know what it was, then a very strange and a very ugly smoke began to rise from this place, and there was a horrible rotten smell, then I began to feel the heat of the flame of this place, there were great flame in this place, I was heat by an intense and tremendous heat, I began to feel it as we descended through the tunnel and then I began to listen to the voices that I heard when the Lord showed me the first experience, as we went down the tunnel, the voice of lamentation and cries started to grow, I began to listen to the voices of millions of millions of people crying, their cries were so sharp that it seemed to be one voice, it was awful, in fact the voices of millions of people that were being tormented in that place was sharp and piercing like a single voice, when we went down to that place the Lord took me to a cell, a very large cell and told me, let's go so that you look what there is inside this cell, the door was opened without anyone touching it, Jesus did a hand gesture and the door of that cell started to open, we begin to enter in that place, when we enter that cell there were many chains, they were many chains hanging in that place, immediately I noticed hook at the end of that chains, these hook looked like bait that we have on earth. The hook was hunched over, on that hunched hook were people that were suspended, there were lost souls that were hanging in that place, there were so many chains in this place, at the end of those chains there were hooks, and there were people suspended on these hooks, and when they saw the Lord Jesus Christ they started shouting in a great voice, they said, Lord, we cannot stand this smell, please get us out of here, at that moment I saw bug and worms coming in the side and they began to torture these lost souls that were crying to the Lord, I did not see flame in this section of the abode of the deads, I only saw that people were hanging in the hook of these chains, in the same time they were tormented by the worms, there was only darkness in this place, the only light here was the light of our Lord Jesus Christ that was so resplendent and that allowed me to see all those things, in this darkness I saw dark creatures jumping all over the place, at the moment I saw that these creatures that were moving from one place to another as they threw even more people in this place, and they began to torture these people who were hanging on the hook, people were such a tremendous torture, Jesus says to me, we have move away from here, then we descended towards the ground, we walked towards the door, he opened the doors again by gesturing his hand, we went out and the gate closed, we stopped listening to the screams that were in that place because they were billions of people who were being tormented by worms and demons that were in that place, we walked on the soil of that place, it was like the ground of the earth like a mud, 
As we walk I could listen to the terror and the cry of people that were around that place, they cried to the Lord, but they could do nothing for them it was too late, the Lord ignored and said nothing, I looked at the flames as they were very high and red hot in the middle of the people, I told the Lord, Sir, do not leave me in this place, I do not belong to this place, the Lord told me I'm not going to leave you in this place because you don't belong here, the people who were there shouted and they looked at the Lord and extended their hands, but the Lord did not say anything, we just walked and walked around this place where there was a very large gate, and the Lord only made one gesture with the hand again and the gate that had something much like a wheel in the bottom part began to open and we enter, when we entered again it began to close, when we were inside I noticed that in this place the ground was wet, the mud was hanging to the side of my skin, I was walking on the wet mud, but I could see that it was very muggy, that place was dark and misty, when I looked deeper in that place I noticed that there were what seems to be black stones there in that place, the place seems like an immense swamp, on top of these stones I noticed something like wolves and many things, suddenly I noticed these stones were moving, actually what seems to be stones by the side of the mud and the swamp were actually demonic creatures in camouflage, they were very big, grotesque and very ugly, they had the shape of toad but their mouth were very long and they had their feet like those of toad, their tails were like those of a tadpole, I could see that they could jump to a great height and from one place to another, there was many black stones in that place, but this were a camouflage of demon, I looked these huge demons as they began to move, they were really darkness and ugly, as I was wondering in my mind about all this the Lord told me, these they are demons, they were huge in comparison to demons that I saw in other part of hell that seems to a measure fractures of them, they were even more horrible. I do not have words to describe them, I was observing this part of hell that was huge, it was like a swamp and a forest, there was no hell fire here, there was no lost soul here except of these huge demons, the Lord said let go ashore, then the Lord said, this section of hell is the valley of demons, I asked the Lord what the purpose of this place, there are places that I saw in hell that made me fear the Lord, there are horrendous and terrifying place you wish with fear when you see them, there was deep darkness here, there was mist in the darkness, in this mist I could see shadows moving in the mist of this fog, when these demons saw me walking with the Lord in this place, I saw that they were hiding, as the Lord passed by these ugly and huge creatures they were trembling, there were many of these demons camouflaging as stones, but as we were passing around the swamp they were shaking, the Lord said, it is written is in my word because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world, Jesus said, Satan frequently visits this place, I asked the Lord why is Satan visiting this place time to time, the Lord answered and told me that these demons are preparing and working with the devil for the great tribulation, the Lord said, these demons have not yet seen or known the light of the day, Jesus said, these demons have been locked in this place for thousands and thousands of years ago, they are ready and preparing to go out in the great tribulation, when the Lord began to talk to me about the great tribulation, he had tears falling on his cheeks, I sense the gravity of the horror that will befall humanity in that period, I was moved when I saw how the man was crying, then the Lord said to me, woe to the inhabitants of the earth because in those days my Holy Spirit will be taken away from them, and I will not be able to do anything for them. Jesus tell me, the devil will be your father in those days, the Lord cried and lamented for the dwellers of the earth in those great days of tribulation, for men have never seen things that are about to happen to this world, the Lord said to me, the demons that you are seeing in this section of hell are the most cruel and the vliest, they have been preparing and are prepared by the devil for the great tribulation, you can see that there is no fire here and there is no lost souls here, these demons are not busy they are preparing for the day they will emerge on the surface of the earth to torment the world population in those day of calamity and horror, the Lord lamented again for what is coming, then the Lord exhorted me to keep speaking up despite the mockery and rejection of my message by some of the unbelievers, failure to speak meant the Lord would ask me the blood of the innocent, when we started to leave the valley of demons these creatures began to curse the Lord, the kind of curses that I have never heard before and I will not repeat here, with a hand gesture of the Lord the door opened, we started to leave that place, 
The moment we left that place I began to hear the cries of the lost soul again. These people were screaming and asking for mercy to the Lord, but it was too late for them and the Lord did not respond to their cries. Later we arrived in another section of the abode of the dead. I could observe many demons gathered together in a meeting. They were very ugly and very big. The Lord said, Come and I'll show you. The Lord said, The spirit of confusion that is in the airs is beginning to move and the congregations. Then I heard these demons saying these Christians have given us the opportunity to enter their congregations and bring confusion. This is how we will act. We will convince humanity to go back to the world. These demons were happy and satisfied with their undertaking. They looked very happy and there were laughter in their meeting. I heard them saying, Father, we have achieved the goal that you have set for us. The devil said we will enter and bring confusion in the church. The highest one of them spoke, he could not pronounce the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. They were calling him the Son of the Most High. These demon aimed to counter the vision of heaven and hell that the Lord is giving to his servant by creating confusion. They are the spirit of confusion that is moving on the earth even in the church, the Lord told me, they will bring a lot of confusion, the Lord showed me these demon causing false vision and false revelation in order to counter the warning of the Lord to humanity, they were causing visions and dreams that do not belong to the Lord, the Lord said, my people must task for confirmation of each of the visions they receive, they must task me for confirmation, and I am going to confirm to them. The Lord encouraged me to go out in the street and shout everything that I saw. He said many will be saved because of what I saw. The Lord said remember that I love you. The Lord said, remember that without holiness nobody will see me. From a moment we started to leave, 